Hey guys, today I am going to show how to create a bootable USB flash drive with Windows 10, which can be installed on UEFI based computers. UEFI is basically the replacement for BIOS. It's a new firmware, and new Windows PCs are coming with it. So, let's start creating Windows 10 USB drive with UEFI support. To prepare the bootable UEFI USB drive of Windows 10, we'll be using a free tool called Rufus. I prefer Rufus over Microsoft Media Creation Tool, as Rufus is faster, reliable, and offers more features. So, download the latest version of Rufus. It is a portable app, so it does not require to be installed. Run the Rufus tool as administrator. Insert your USB drive to your PC. Remember, to create bootable Windows 10 USB for UEFI, you need a USB drive with at least 8 GB capacity, and the 64-bit Windows 10 ISO image file. Under the device section, select the USB drive. Then, select the Windows 10 ISO file. In case you don't have the Windows 10 ISO file, you can use Rufus to download the Windows 10 ISO file from Microsoft servers. Select the Windows 10 build, and the edition you want. And select the 64-bit architecture. Then, click the download button, and choose a location on your computer to save the file. Now, it begins downloading the Windows 10 ISO file. I already have the file, so I won't download it again. Now, follow the next steps. For the partition scheme, select GPT. Choose the target system as UEFI. Make sure that the standard Windows installation is selected. From the file system drop-down, select NTFS. Leave the cluster size by default. And type a volume label. Make sure these two options are marked. Finally, click the start button. It just takes 5 to 10 minutes to create a bootable Windows 10 USB drive with UEFI support. Once done, you can connect the bootable USB to the computer on which you want to install Windows 10, and start installing the Windows 10 OS.